Today we are making a simple workout calendar in Notion. From scratch, let's do it. Forward slash data, click on table view. We're going to click on new table and this is going to be our simple workout calendar. So we are going to click on these three dots here and click on layout and we are going to change this to a calendar. And if we want, we can also click on show database title here just to turn that off. So this is where we are going to track the actual workout, what days we're working out. So if I work out this day, I can write workout and that will go in there. Now I'm going to know which workouts am I doing. Now there's two ways of doing this. We could either create a separate database down here that connects to this, or we could create some templates in here. And these templates would then serve as the place that we store all of the workout routines. So let's just do ab workout and then add an icon here as well. And then here on tags property, I will write ab workout. And then here we can write the routine. So I'll do forward slash, and then here you can see slash to-do list. So this will act as our routine checklist that we'll do in the gym. Sit up, crunch, etc. So we'll put them all in here. So this is now a template as you can see. So I'll just delete this workout and let's say it is time for me to work out today. I can click on add an item and click on ab workout. Automatically, it will write ab workout here. It will automatically tag it as ab workout. And I can see these and start ticking them off whilst in the gym or tick them off whilst working out at home. So this is a super easy way for me to follow what I'm doing. So what you can do is click on this down arrow here and add all of your different workouts in your calendar. And you will add them as templates as we did here. Now, if you're going to want to see how many times you did an ab workout, for example, then what we can do is right click on calendar and do duplicate. And for this, we will write tracker. And I'm going to change this layout here from a calendar to a table. So our goal for this is to track how many times did we work out in the past month, for example. So I can click on calculate here and do count and change it to count all. So I can see every single one of these items. Now, as you can see, it's not just the ones filled in, it's also the blank ones. So if you have any blank ones, then be sure to delete them, otherwise it will count them as well. So now I can see I have one. But if I were to add something in last month and I'll say ab workout and I go back here, I could see, okay, I've done an ab workout last month and I've done one this month. I only want to see the amount of times that I've worked out this month. So we're going to need to add a filter to this. So we'll go over here and click on the filter button and we're going to click on add advanced filter. And the rule here is going to be where the start date is relative to this month. So now I'm only seeing stuff in the past month. You could even get more specific with it and say is relative to and change that to is between and select a specific date range. So I want to say, okay, only this date and this date. How many times have I worked out in the past two weeks? And I can see that as well. It is very useful to have a tracking system. In my headquarters system, I have a time tracking system that is built into the projects and the life buckets. So I know how much time did I actually spend on projects? How much time did I spend on the different areas in my life? This is super vital to know. So now we have a tracker and a calendar. Now, another thing that you could do is instead of having these as simple check boxes, what we could do is actually create a separate database here with all of the different individual exercises. So if I click on new table here and write exercises, I can actually write in the individual exercise here. So I'll just delete this tags property here. And I'm going to click on plus and click on checkbox. So here I could write sit up, I could write crunch, and let's say pull up. Then what we'll do here is click on the plus and we'll choose a multi-select. So this multi-select will be saying, where is this focusing? Which part of the body is this actually training? So sit up, we will say abs. And then for pull up, I will say back. So what I'll do now is click on the down arrow and let's just create a new ab workout that works using this system. So ab workout two, add an icon, I'll do a circle this time. Now here, we are going to use the same database that I just created. So I'll do forward slash data and click on table view. Now this time, instead of creating a new table, I will search for exercises, there we go. And now we can see all of them. So what I want to do is first click on the three dots, click on layout and here show database title. I'll just turn that off and I'm going to rename this to ab exercises. So I'm going to click on tags here and do ab workout and we'll click on filter, click on focus. And here we will say we only want to see stuff for ab workout two that contains abs. So now I'm only seeing stuff that is relevant to abs. So now if I click away and click on plus and click on ab workout two, 
automatically it assigns it with ab workout and we can see all of the different ab exercises that are only related to abs that focus on the abs so what you can do is add in all of the different exercises that you like doing slash that are part of a routine that you do add them all in here and then when you click on here you can see all of them here and if you want you can also add any details in here that you want under text, you could add the specific amount of sets and reps that you're doing in here. Another thing that we could do is view this table as a gallery. So I'll right click on this and change it to gallery. Then we will click on the three dots here, change it from the layout of table to a gallery. Then here, what you could do is add photos showing you how to do these specific exercises. So for example, I can click here on pull up I'll paste an image in and if I click away, I can see the pull up here. I can even reposition it so I can see it like that. And then let's say I'm doing a workout and I think, how do I do a pull up? What does that mean? Then I can click here, see an image of it. I can even add a link on how to do it by clicking add property and doing URL. And here I can say a how to video. So now I have all the resources that I need to do my workout in a simple calendar. This workout calendar is then not only tracking when I'm working out, but it's also showing me how to do each of these exercises and I can go through and tick them off. If you want to see an all-in-one Notion system that handles absolutely everything in your life, your tasks, your projects, your notes, your resources, your time tracking, your journaling, your move the needle exercise, everything built into the one dashboard, then check out Headquarters. It has over 900 users with a five-star rating. Click on this video here to check it out and thank you so much for watching.